<clears throat> hey kids. All right, now for Raina, the next easy acoustic song I'm going to show you is Patience by Guns N' Roses. Now, I'm not going to show you all the intricacies of it because they do the same chord shapes I've already shown you, but they alternate them a bit. I'm not going to go that in depth on this yet. When you want to learn the full song, or when you're ready to learn the full song, and you've got these chord shapes down, and you can start playing with them and removing a finger here and removing a finger there, then we'll talk about it. But for now, you go C, G, C, E, back to C, back to G, and then you're doing D with an alteration. I will show you that one because it's easy. So here's how it is. normal. Now, if you want to count this out, it's one, two, three, and one, and two, and 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 three, and that's how you count it out until you get to the D because there's a little bit more. One, two, So you're going a little bit faster on the upstrokes once you're moving your fingers. Now, the way that D goes is you've got the normal D shape that I showed you in the last video. So you do those. And once you get to that uh, three and count, you're going to go, be going up. Instead of down up, it's up down. You're going to drop your pinky on this third fret of the E and remove it. Remove your middle finger from the E and play it open. Drop it back down on the last upstroke. So each time you move, put down a finger or move a finger, it's up down until the very end. C. Then it's back to the C. Now, when GNR plays it, they typically don't use the first finger. See, it's, it sounds like this. They just play this uh, this A chord open, but it sounds just fine like this. There's not a whole lot of difference there. It does make a difference when you're playing it on acoustic. You, it sounds a little bit different, but you'll still sound fine doing it the, the regular way. So. And that'll get you a little bit more practice switching between the C and the D and then going to, or the C and the G, going to the E. Those are, those are all relatively easy to switch between. But especially since normally you'll just freaking play a G like that. Or a lot of folks, they don't go from a C all the way to a full G. It's just it's like this. This is another way to switch to it. Just leave this first finger out and you're only putting your pinky on the E string. Otherwise your middle finger and your ring finger go on these other two strings, the E and the A.
that way you can keep your first finger down here for the C and then the E major or E minor. See what I'm saying? You can also do that. Sounds just fine. Nothing wrong with it. And the only the only bitch of that is when you're going from the oh C. Then when you go to D, you've got to move all, every damn thing down again. So you're going to want to play with that. Personally. make sure I'm showing you every damn thing here. What I'm doing is when I go from the C to the G, the first time I switch it, I just do the shortened version. Back to the C. About to switch to the D, I do the full G version. See what I'm saying? It'll take some practice to get uh, to get down to what you want to do, but that's the that's pretty much the whole song. They just change it up a little bit here and there throughout the. Uh, that's how they play the chorus all the way through. You'll hear, if you listen to the song, you'll hear on the C and on the D, sometimes they'll double strum. And, you know, it's, it's whatever. You'll still sound just fine doing it like that. Um, in the intro of the song, like when they do the C and the G, if you listen closely, you'll hear them drop uh, a pinky here and there and move them around and raise a finger up just to get a little bit of a drop and a little bit of a raise and then a little bit of a drop. And when you're ready to be able to do the full song, I'll show you the full song. For now, stick with that, see what you can do with it and see how you can make it sound. Make sure that you can play along with, you know, play GNR in the background Make sure you can keep up and play along with like the chorus and the uh, you know, the rest of the song. You should be able to still keep up with it doing that. See what you can do with it. Let me know.